Hello friends, this video on structure of atom part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 16. So the question says, when an electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 300 nanometer falls on a surface of sodium, this is my sodium surface let's suppose, I have my electromagnetic waves of 300 nanometer falling in this electrons comes out with a kinetic energy of 1.68 into 10 to the power 5 joule per mole please note this is joule per mole it's talking about per mole what is the energy required to remove electron from sodium so what does this mean is this wavelength of energy was given this wavelength of energy was used to was used to remove electron plus give kinetic energy so i can say that energy from uh, radiation was divided into energy to remove electron plus kinetic energy that electron has got right so you have some energy energy of radiation that was used to kick out one electron that is to energy to remove electron plus the kinetic energy which electron has got correct so r we have to find minimum energy to remove electron that means we have to find this part energy of radiation we can easily find because we are given the wavelength of the radiation correct so let's find e of radiation is nothing but since we have wavelength so we'll use sc by lambda of this formula this is nothing but 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second into c is speed of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by uh, wavelength that is 300 nanometer i'll convert this into meter 300 to the power into 10 to the power 9 meter so if you solve this you get answer as 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 90 joule this is for one molecule this is this is energy of radiation one molecule but the kinetic energy is given per mole so let's convert this into per mole so let's write energy of radiation for one mole for one mole it will be we'll have this uh, 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 this is per mole into we'll multiply with this energy we have got right 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 19 right because one mole has this many molecules so what you'll get is 3.99 into 10 to the power 5 joule per mole so joule and the energy in joule per mole for this uh, radiation is 3.99 correct so if you put this value in this equation 1 what you get is 3.99 into 10 to the power 5 joule per mole is equal to energy to remove electron plus kinetic energy that is 1.68 into 10 to the power 5 joule per mole. so if you solve this equation what you'll get energy to remove electron will be nothing but 3.99 minus 1.68 that is 2.31 into 10 to the power 5 joule per mole so that answer i have got the minimum energy required to remove electron from sodium is 2.31 into 10 to the power 5 joule per mole now the question is what is the maximum wavelength that can cause the photon to be emitted? so in that case we will use this much energy itself because see any extra energy we use that converts into kinetic energy so we will we'll assume that there is no kinetic energy to the electron we just want a wavelength that will eject the electron out so we will use this one right so this is joule per mole i can find per molecule also very easily so this joule per mole i can write energy to remove per molecule not mole molecule will be 2.31 into 10 to the power 5 joule per mole divided by 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 
moles. So what I'll get is 3.84 into 10 to the power minus 90 joules. So per molecule, this is the energy required. And this will come from, you'll use the same formula, SC by lambda. Because you want to find the wavelength which can give this energy, right? So we'll use the same formula now. We'll put we'll put H is equal to the Planck constant. C is 3 meter per 8. So we'll solve for this and we'll solve we get lambda as 517 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. And that is nothing but 517 nanometer. And that is my answer. Correct. Easy one. See what I have done is in this case, I found the, the wavelength of radiation was given, I found the energy per molecule, then I found the energy per mole because everything was in mole. And then with that, uh, I was given the kinetic energy of the electrons. I found the minimum energy required to remove an electron from the sodium metal per mole. Since it was per mole, I convert into per molecule because I wanted to find the wavelength. I got this per molecule, this many joules. And then I use this is nothing but SC by lambda, right? The energy is nothing but SC by lambda per molecule. Then I view this formula and I got the lambda as 517 nanometer. Let's take one more example. The threshold frequency of a metal is 7.0 uh, into 10 to the power 4 per second. Calculate the kinetic energy of the electron emitted when the radiation of frequency this hits the metal it's a pretty easy question again see there is a metal whose v naught is given that is 7.0 into 10 to the power 14 per second and we need to find the kinetic energy of the electron this is right, right the electron comes out we need to find the kinetic energy of this electron where the frequency of this radiation is nothing but 10 to the power 15 per second or nothing but 10 into 10 to the power 14 because the power is 14, 14 here, I'll make it 14. So this becomes 10 to 10 to the power, this becomes 10 to 10 to the power 14 per second. So we know that kinetic energy is nothing but half into mass into square, and this is nothing but h mu minus mu naught, where mu is the frequency of the radiation, this guy, and mu naught is the uh, frequency of the metal. Let's put the value. H is what? 6.623 into 10 to the power 20 minus minus 34 joule second. What is the value of mu? Mu is 10 into 10 to the power 14 per second and mu naught 7 into 10 to the power 14 per second. So to solve this you get something like this. 1.988 into 10 to the power 90 joules. This is the kinetic energy of the electron. Easy question. Let's see one more question. The Vivid Bharti station of Delhi broadcasts a frequency of this kilohertz. We have to find the wavelength of electromagnetic radiation emitted and we need to find which part of the electromagnetic spectrum it belongs. The frequency is given 1368 kilohertz, that is this many hertz. We have to find the wavelength. Lambda is C by V, we know that. C is speed of light 10 to the power 8 into meter per second by V is 1368 into 10 to the power 3 hertz. You saw this, you get 219.3 meters, and that is my answer. So it comes with the radio waves. Is. Let's take one example. The wavelength of the visible, visible spectrum extends from 400 nanometer to 750 nanometer. Express this wavelength and frequency easy only. So let this be lambda 1 and this be lambda 2. So let's find V1. V1 is equal to C by lambda 1. C is 3 to 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Lambda 1 has to be in meter. 400 nanometer is nothing but 400 into the power minus 9 meter. You solve this, you get 7.5 into 10 to the power 14 hertz. Similarly, frequency 2 is nothing but C by lambda 2. 
C is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Lambda 2 is 750 nanometer. Is nothing but 750 into 10 to the power 9 meter. You saw all this, you get 4 into 10 to the power 14 hertz. So the frequency raises from this to this. And that is my answer. Easy one. We have to find the wave number and frequency of a yellow radiation having wavelength of this. Wave number is nothing but 1 by lambda. So let's put the value 1 by 580 angstrom. So 1 angstrom is 10 to the power minus 10 meter. 1 angstrom is 10 to the power minus 10 meter. This is what I get. So you solve this, you get 1.724 into 10 to the power 6. And that's my answer. Find the energy of each of the photons which corresponds to the light of frequency, this hertz and wavelength of. So if you note, question talks about two different photons. In one photon has the frequency of this, the other photon has the wavelength of this. So formula we know if you have the frequency, the formula is E is equal to H mu. We want to find the energy of photon. This become H is Planck's constant 6.623 into 10 power minus 34 joule second into uh, frequencies 3 into 10 to the power 15 hertz. 15 hertz is per second. So if you solve this, this becomes 1.988 into 10 to the power minus 18 joule. This is first case. Second case, photon has a wavelength of uh, some value. So we'll use the formula HC by lambda. Same thing, H is Planck constant 6.623 into the minus 34. Joule second. C is speed of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And lambda is here 0.5 ounce so that is 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter. Please note everything I see. If you see, I am converting into SI unit. And this gives 3.98 into 10 to the power minus 50 joule. And that is my answer. Correct. So here you have to find wavelength, frequency and wave number of the light whose period is this much. So we know that frequency is nothing but 1 by period. So let's find the frequency first. 1 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 10 seconds. That is nothing but 5 into 10 to the power 8 per second or hertz. This is my frequency. Frequency is done. Correct. Wavelength is C by mu frequency. C is speed of light 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And frequency is we have found 5 into 10 to the power 8 hertz. So you get here 6 into, sorry, you got to number 9 here. So here you get 9. Here you get 6 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. This is my wavelength. We talk about wave number that is nothing but 1 by wavelength that is 1 by 6 into 10 to the power minus 2 that is 100 by 6 that is 50. That is my per meter and that is my wavelength. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.